way too many civilians are caught in crossfire. Uh, we have a, a very big problem of uh, improvised explosive devices uh, that are affecting, that are maiming, injuring, killing civilians. Uh, this is something that has to end. Um, uh, we have problems uh, when uh, armed actors uh, fight against each other, uh, what is called ground operations. Uh, very often civilians get caught in crossfire in between. Uh, they are displaced by the conflict and at times also they are hampered to reach uh, basic services uh, uh, across the country because of the ongoing fighting. The problems that we, we keep on seeing is the disrespect of international humanitarian law uh, that is absolutely unacceptable. The, the very simple uh, humanitarian basic principles that have uh, to apply also in war are disrespected in the country. We have uh, attacks against mosques, uh, we have targeted attacks against civilians, uh, we have indiscriminate attacks uh, throughout the country. And an element that is uh, pretty much uh, and will be uh, a focus of attention will be uh, to try to convince and to engage armed actors in uh, um, ensuring that uh, particularly medical facilities, medical transport facilities and medical personnel are protected from the effect of armed conflict because we see that there is an ongoing high number of medical personnel, doctors and nurses who are directly targeted during the conflict. Hospitals come under attack, health posts come under attack, there is attacks against ambulances. This has to cease. We need to work and keep on working on, on acceptance by armed actors. Acceptance for humanitarian work, for, um, for all of us, uh, humanitarian actors, this is a dangerous environment for humanitarians. Uh, but I would not like to focus too much the attention on the, uh, the danger for uh, humanitarians. Uh, what is really a concern to us is uh, the effect of uh, this conflict on uh, the Afghan population. Uh, we remain committed to Afghanistan. Uh, we have always to strike a balance between risk-taking and action, either direct action or action through our colleagues of the uh, Afghan Red Crescent Society, who are giving us uh, um, an enormous hand in trying to reach out to the population in need, to the population that are uh, most remote uh, from, uh, from the public attention.